I don't understand. I, I, seriously, I, I was I was not even like really interested in this, and now I'm kind of you're dragging me in. What is going on? Rig, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a YouTube video that I want no one to watch. Okay, so just uh, Jules, no. you you have a show and you don't want anybody to listen to it. No, no, we haven't been doing it for a little while, so I just who cares? You so what? You got five shows. That's good. Most people don't make it past the first. Why are look? Why are why are you so defensive about your product? Are you getting frustrated right now, Jules? What's no, happening? I'm not. I just want to talk about something besides myself. She's having a breakdown. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. fine. I just think that you are. The deeper you go that. into this, <laughs> dude, play minute three. Let's see what happens. No, I just think you're way more interesting than I am. I, I... Jules, first of all, take it down a notch. Breathe. Oh, Breathe. Okay. Drink, drink, take a shot. I, I don't want you passing out on this show. I, I will feel oh, legally Berto? responsible. Riga fucking Berto. I'm gonna <laughs> Why stop calling me that. Okay. Before before I play any more of this show, I only want to hear one minute. You 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 got upset with ten seconds. Well, you you look at like, like I should be allowed to find the minute. Now All right. Why? Okay. First of all, tell me what? Why is it called Slugcast? What is it about the snails? Because my home clan was mortar slugs. Hello. Okay. All right. So this has to do with the clan name. Okay. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Look, I was desperate. Like I was getting so bored with Clash, and I just like needed to find something to occupy my time. All right. So you. Funny. So we just Jules, Jules, it, it it costs money. Trust me, I know. To post it up to iTunes, you have to pay yeah. You have to pay for a hosting service. Yeah, you you I want you want people to hear this. No, I don't really want people to. Hear this. We we find this, and who knows? Maybe you are the next Rigoletto. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not. I'm- Jules Aletto. Yeah, Jules Jules Aletto. Change your nickname right now. Jules Hold on. Aletto. Let's let's hear no. let's hear the intro. No. Uh, he's supposed to have his own segment this week, but you guys know how that goes. We'll just see how <laughs> how everything shakes out. And we also have a very special guest, J Five or Johnny Cinco. Some of you might know him. Why he is one doing? of my favorite clashers. You're doing great. I'm very much looking Why forward to catching that? up with him after he's done with his dinner. Uh, all right. For, <laughs> one work. Uh, uh, shout out to Deuce X Machina for <laughs> find, <laughs> finding this. You, know. you motherfuckers. You know what? It's funny. It's funny. It's like, she's like, how did you find this? And like, all you have to do is like go on Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. oh my gosh. I, I You know what, Jules? I, I like you, but I don't understand you. I <laughs> you're You're confusing me right now. Well, you're you uh, you you like the show. You hate my show. No, I you love you have, and now I find out you have a show that you also hate. No. So no. I I don't understand what's going on right now. Rig, here's here's how it goes. It's not an old pod. People in the in the chat are saying that they found her old podcast. The last posting was March fourteenth. That's not that old. Yeah. There, I, I don't want to get into that. Hold on. Let me check your... Let me just let me just see what the reviews say. It's like a long story and boring. Oh, you don't have a review. Let me add a review. I'll give you five stars. Um, oh, shoot. I got to sign yeah, on my Apple ID. I, I don't want to get into why the podcast is on hold right now because I think it's negative and not fun. And it's going to cast shade on people that we're all friends. What happened to episodes one and two? <laughs> Tell me. Well, maybe those didn't get posted. <laughs> Wait a minute. You started with episode three. I'll send you them privately. No, no. You got to send them to iTunes. No, Jules. I'm not in charge of that. Your They're podcast. Active. Your podcast starts with episode three. Yeah, Tabby's in charge of that. Why don't you just make episode three, episode one, and say that you have three shows than rather than five? Why are you hassling me? No, I'm just wondering. I'm just like, now I'm into the technical. Because my podcast is stupid and no one gives a shit. And <sighs> like, <laughs> like, no one cares. 
years. Wow. Like, I never did it for anyone to listen to it. I never did it for that reason. I did it because I wanted to do it. I think everybody I down deep down wants it to be heard. I, I, I did. I wanted to be heard. Yeah, if people, all right. So if people listened to it and liked it, yes. I love that. <laughs> Rub- like, Rubio says it. Jules does not know how to count. <laughs> Rubio can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, that's not why I did it. And you know what? I have some other projects going, and I'm not going to pub- publish them either. And I think I do them for the same reason that you do. I don't know if, if that's true. Why do you think I do what I do? Because you need to talk about things. Because you need to engage people one-on-one or in groups. And you need to, like, express your opinions and need to get things out. That's what I think. And, and you are therefore saying that that is the, why you do it, too. You, yeah. s- you said you're doing it for the same reasons. Well, not all, not all the same, but similar. What's the difference between you and I? I'm not sure yet. I don't know you well enough. I mean, it's, I mean, as far as podcast goes, like as far as podcast goals. I don't know, Rig. I don't know, Rig. You're like okay. way better at this than I am. I'm not better than at this. That's that's you're a f- way more experienced. That's a farce. You're way more experienced. I just started experimenting with it in January, and I'm like still coming up with ideas. I encur- well, I encourage anybody. I've said this, I've said this many times. I encourage everybody to like do a YouTube or a podcast or something. Yeah, if you want to, like if that's what you want. There's room. Do. There's room in this universe for everything. It's gonna be, well, but he is the bottomless barrel of entertainment. So. Hopefully that'll be fun. And Johnny, don't come on and disappoint me. (laughs) Are you for real? How many people are on the show? Is this like three people? I heard another person laughing. I had a a co-host, Tabby. She's fucking awesome. Oh, I thought that was a cat. I'm sorry. Tabby is a person. Can you bring Tabby on voice right now? Uh, I could invite her to the server if she's around, but she's like pretty cool and probably doesn't have time for us. <laughs> When's the last time you spoke to Tabby? Probably March 14th, 2018. Yeah, uh, <laughs> episode earlier, episode earlier 5. Today, you fuckfaces. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. It was March 14th, trust me. Hold on one second. About? Let me see if I can get Tabby to come on. She's what was your conversation about? Oche, I you know what? I'm I'm totally confused cuz like I'm not attacking Jules, but I feel she's very defensive. I don't know why. Why are you saying that? I uh, you, you're you're like all prickly right now, like a porcupine. I don't know what. I don't. I'm sure why. I'm not trying to poke fun. Just trying, just trying to understand what's going on. We're trying to we're trying to get into your brain, Jules. Um, she did something to her mic. Now we can't hear her. Hold on. There she no, is. She's, She's fine. I'm good. Um, Tabby, Tabby is on a number of podcasts. Tabby is actually like a sports enthusiast, and she's on like a number of um, podcasts. So I need an invite. How do I get an invite so she can get on? Do I just type? Oh, by, by pressing the invite members uh, button that's like right above you. Shut up. I mean, what the, why shut up? It's right above your name. I'll cut you. It says invite members. You won't cut me. You won't cut me. No, I will not. Everybody, I I highly recommend you go check out Slugcast. It's on no. it's on shut iTunes. Up. Shut up. <laughs> it says download past episodes or subscribe to the future episodes of Slugcast by Slugcast for free. Do you have a Do you have a Patreon? Do you have a Patreon where? No, we don't give a shit. We're oh. just doing it for fun. Oh, okay. We, honestly, we're just doing it for fun. What if like, What if I told you that I was oh, not okay. doing this for fun? What if I told I you that care. that that deep down, deep down, I I really want to make ten thousand a month on this podcast. <laughs> I would I would say you should make go, shoot for twenty. Sure. Why not? So low, right? Yeah. 
I got a I got a sponsor last week. Did you? Mm-hmm. It was a sponsor. Uh, I think they're called Shirt Punch. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an shirt ad. Punch. Shirt, shirt Punch. It's a T-shirt, one of those like T-shirt services. Really? Is she doing yet? Oh, yeah, they contacted me. They said, "Hey." Uh, oh yes, Tabby, unmute. Someone unmute Tabby. All right, hold on a second. Uh, she needs to unmute herself. I think. Yeah, she's not server muted. Talking back. All Tabby, right. Tabby, unmute yourself if you can. All oh, right, man. This is this is just like listening to the podcast again. Tabby's the bomb, man. She's so much. Work All right. What's up, what's up, fellow slugger, Tabby? How are you? She needs fellow to unmute slugger. herself. Yeah. She, she's Tabbers. having. Technical difficulties. There we go. Hi, honey. <laughs> All right, Tabby. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do something very rude to Jules. I'm gonna server mute. I'm server muting Jules temporarily. Jules, hang tight. I gotta do this for the recording. Tabby, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hi. You are. You are right now on a podcast that is being recorded. I just want to let you know that first and foremost. Um, we oh, we that works for me. we have a live audience right now here in the Discord channel. So welcome. I, I have a question Hi. for you. Your your name came up. We were talking to Jules. And uh, she mentioned in casual conversation that uh, she had a podcast. Jules has been in the Discord and we have befriended her. She's great. Talks about everything. Very open person. I'm sure you know her better than I. Never once has she brought up that she has a podcast. So all of a sudden we're we're interested. So we found the podcast just a few minutes ago, and that's how your name came up. So that's how you're here. Oh, okay. So let me ask you, I'm not sure, but I I try to promote your, is it your podcast? Do you own it? Uh, it's me and Jules. Okay. Is there a reason why she, she would not want me to promote your podcast? I have no idea. We haven't recorded in a while. Right. Yeah, we found the three episodes. But uh, I was just wondering, like, if there was a reason, like, can we? Can, are we allowed to talk about your show? Can we promote it? Or is this show on hiatus? What's What's the status here? It's kind of on hiatus, but we're we would like to bring it back. What's, so I don't have a problem. What was the uh, What was the show about? Because I, I was trying to play a little bit of it, but uh, Jules got angry. So, what's what's the show about? Uh, it's kind of us. Just we kind of talk about clash, slugs, and yeah. clash and mayonnaise. A mayonnaise. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I'm unmuting Jules now. Thing. Jules. Okay. I just wanted to give ta- uh, Tabby an introduction. Jules, you're unmuted now. No, that was in, that was totally accurate. <laughs> so, I was just yeah. I'm just curious. Like, I don't know why you got so defensive about about your podcast rules. I, I did because um, Tabby and I have we were doing it and we were having like a really good time, and then we had like a kind of complicated thing happen, which was not between us, but something that we were both working on. And it required all of our energy, and I didn't want to speak negatively about something that was involved with friends that you're friends with. Uh, I know Mailman Matt. I see him on episode four. Oh my gosh, he, that's the best episode, I think. Tabby, wouldn't you? That agree? was a really good one. Yeah. So what? Really what's good. what is this fascination with mayonnaise? Every show topic says something about mayonnaise. What's that about? Yeah, we talk about mayonnaise a lot. Mayonnaise is good, and Duke's mayonnaise is the best. Yeah. We also have a lot of arguments about hot dogs. But- All right, guys. I didn't know what I was going to talk about tonight, but I just figured it out. We're going to do an Ask Me Anything of a podcaster, Tabby and Jules. So if you guys want to start, if you guys want to start posting questions about um, our podcasters, Jules and okay. Tabby, go but ahead. Start posting them Tabby right now. Is like- more of a podcaster than I am because she Tabby is like a sports fanatic and she's based in Atlanta and she has like season tickets to like every sports team in Atlanta and she's followed by like so many people on Tabby are you famous are you famous uh I'm not I'm not famous but I have a lot of 
followers on Twitter because I'm a girl that talks sports. So are you on the are you on the news? Are you on television? Do you have a any sort of media personality that we don't know about? Uh, no, I co-host some sports podcasts occasionally. Okay, so you've been on, so you've done podcasts before. So you're you're yeah. a legitimate podcaster. You know, you know the deal, how to run a podcast, how it works, everything. Yeah, she does. Okay, she, that's that's why we have one. So how yeah. how is it that that uh, you are doing all these sports podcasts? You you seem to have all these uh, professional venues for. Uh, you know, being social online, why is Slugcast failing in your opinion? What's going on? Why we why haven't you... like we had difficulty there. rescheduling after our? Um... Are you guys personal? Like, are you guys childhood friends? Is this where this starts? No, no, we only know each other through Clash. So, like, we, oh. I've been playing Clash of Clans for a little over a year. And I've been with Mortar Slugs for probably like ten months. Is Mortar is Mortar Slugs that guy that streams called Mordzors? Mord no. That's a different guy? No. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. never mind. Okay. <laughs> that was somebody else. There's another guy with a Tabby's similar name. Cool. Tabby's just a cool chick. Like her brother is in Edmonton Coles and has been there forever. And she's cool, and she just decided to get into Clash like a year ago, and has been like super crazy, and like upped her all, all of her accounts, and has been like just going nuts. And is, is Tabby a nickname, or is that your first name? Uh, Tabby is a nickname. My Tabby Crimmins is what I call my cat. His oh. name is Crimmins, as in Bobby Crimmins, uh, who was a Georgia Tech basketball coach. So that's how that part got started, but. One of my other nicknames in Clash is Danny Hoodlepants, which is another nickname for my cat. So, Danny Hoodlepants. Yeah, I I don't know where that came from. <laughs> All right, I know where it came from. Getting drunk with your brother. Uh, yeah, we do that a lot. Yeah. So, so, so the this podcast. How did it start? How did you guys? How did you guys say sit down and say, let's make episode one? How did that happen? I think it was just an idea that we were toying with. Because um, we had talked about we were trying to recruit and stuff for mortar slugs. And we would, Jules and I would get on voice with anybody and everybody. And so we're like, why don't we just invite people on and then like have a podcast? And, you know, because if you have content, people tend to get your name out. And so that's kind of how, plus it's fun for like an hour, two hours on like a weekend to sit and drink and talk to your friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's how I started. It's fun. Yeah. That's exactly right. I mean, I, I love Tabby. I absolutely love her. <laughs> how, how did you meet Tabby? Just through the clan? Because that was all? I, because I was in love with her brother. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was like so in love with her brother, and then that didn't work out. But um, Tabby and I are BFFs now, basically. So I'm a better version of my brother. So that's so you go by. Honestly, I still think your brother's amazing. It just was never going to work out. (laughs) But um, yeah. So oh, I was going to have people follow you on Twitter, but your your Twitter account is protected. You don't have a. uh, You don't want a public following. Find her Twitter. <laughs> uh, you are Streetlight Lily on uh, on Twitter, right? How on yes. earth did you find that? Was I protected? I can go fix that because that shouldn't be the case. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't see your tweets. All right. So tabs like earlier, they were like, "I'm gonna post a picture for all the boys here." Like, no, not really. And then they were like, "Who is it with?" And I was like, "Well, I have a co-host." And they were like, "Is she hot?" And I was like, "Yeah." I don't think it was and like that. Like, Stop. <laughs> Was, and I was like, they were like, All right. there's there's a picture of Tabby right yeah. here. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Very cool. nice. That's me before that day went very very bad. <laughs> yeah, but you are freaking hot. Tabby. You wear contacts. I can see those on the counter. <laughs> yep, I do. Since fifth grade. I hope Super you don't cool. mind. I have ho- I have horrible eyes too. Your Twitter profile. Where did you come up with the name Danny Hoodle Pants? What is that? 
Um, okay, so we were drinking and watching an NFL game, and I think somehow in our drunk hearing, the NFL, the announcer called Danny Woodhead, Danny Hoodlepants, and then it just became a thing from there. <laughs> And it just kind of, it spiraled. So there's like Danny Hoodle Pants, Hoodle Danny Pants, Poodle Handy Dance. <laughs> like, Poodle Handy Dance. In the water. In the forest. Awesome. I miss you, Tab. <laughs> it's been a while, so. We gotta do another cast. <laughs> uh, the problem I, yeah, go ahead. I got involved with this family circle server. Like, so Tabby and I were like on a roll and then um, Cleric was like, I'm going to like form this family circle thing. And we we're like, we we're so into this and it's such a great idea. And we're, we were, we still support it, but um, we threw everything into it. And then like, that's where all our energy went. And then we weren't doing the podcast anymore. So. Yeah, it kind of, it, it was a good idea, but there was so much of our leadership from Slugs that ended up running stuff at the server for yeah. Family Circle that just, it was detrimental to our clan, so. It killed our clan, basically. <laughs> yeah. Bobby. You can't Bobby. commit that much people from your... Oh, we have a we have a caller right now. Uh, Oche, go oh, ahead. I'm going to step in. I just want to verify oh, hey, a few facts. I just want to verify Oche. a few facts. Oh, um, Tabby? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, hang, please hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang yeah. on. Don't don't sway. Don't sway what she's about to say. Don't sway it. I just want to verify a few facts. <clears throat> Go ahead, Oche. When, 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 was Oche to, when was the last time you spoke to Jules before uh, before she invited you onto this Discord? Uh, I mean, I've talked to her in clan today, but nothing in depth. Mm. Okay, just making sure you guys still play. Yeah. I thought that uh, your clash uh, lives have been deteriorating lately. I mean, not as intense as it was back when Slugs was doing really well, but... What clan are you guys in right now? I am in Mortar Slugs and Assassin's Nails. Uh, you guys war? Yes. All right, let me bring an account over there for you guys. <laughs> do, do you even war? <laughs> oh, Jay, like, what? what is this? When's the next time you guys have a war going on? Uh, well, oh, war Jay. just started in Assassin's Nails, like, an hour ago. Okay. Do you guys have room for a town all night? Yeah. 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 I mean, look, this, 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 this is all, you have already increased your, your activity in clan, all right? By promoting this podcast on uh, on Rick's show, you see. Stupid. We don't care. Like what? What's, wait, what's the clan called? Uh, what's the clan called? It's Assassin's called... what? It's uh, Assassin Snails. It's Assassin Snails. Assassin Snails. Yeah. <laughs> Assassin Snails? What is the obs- what is the obsession with snails? I don't get this. Whatever. It was a thing. Like no one had. Like all right. Here's the deal. When I was coming up with names two years ago... Wait, you made up Wu. this name? Yeah, my friend Wu and I... My, the leader and I made the clan together. And... Um, I'm following and Mortar Slugs on Twitter right now. <laughs> no, don't follow Mortar, Mortar Slugs. is boring. But, um, like, I haven't even... I, I see I have, like, 20 notifications and I'm like, fuck you. Um, yeah, because we're not serious anymore, but... Yeah, like, I don't know. I, like, had Googled, like, the deadliest animals in Sweden. And they were like, believe it or not, there's a snail that has some venom. They call them the murder slugs. And I was like, ooh, this is great. I'm going to make a clan out of that. And so I made a clan out of that. And, like, they wouldn't let me write murder slugs because, like, Supercell has, like, terms of service things. You can't name your clan anything with murder in the title. So I called it Mordor because that's like Swedish for murder. And then slugs. This, yeah. uh, this recruiting process is taking a long time. Uh, we would like to be accepted, please. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, wh- I hate you. Why are, why are you even coming over? Like, it's already. Like, why not? Because what why? That was the whole purpose of the show was to recruit people. So now that I'm now that it's I'm alone, not, that's not the purpose of the show. Actually, I think we should reject you. 
Uh, listen, it's pending. Let's let's take let's let's see how many people in the chat say let Oche in. Either spam. I agree. O- Oche in or uh, Oche out. I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of people saying Oche in. Also, I talk with Tabby some more because yeah. Tabby is actually really interesting and has. Wait, Jules, are you feisty? Are, are you feisty? I think somebody she, said she has been. That doesn't sound feisty. accurate. Extremely feisty. This is the only Jules that we have that we have ever known was feisty Jules. <laughs> Come on, Tabs. <laughs> All right, look at you. Have other players now saying that they want to join uh, Rubio. Fine. Rubio is saying that he's joining too. I feel like ever since you guys have uh, have uh, stopped doing some podcasts together, I feel like there has been some. Uh, I don't feel like some... it doesn't sound like they're very close, huh, Oche? It sounds like there's like a rift. I feel like she's missing something right now. Jules has has been missing something in her life in the past. Have, uh, whatever. Do you think long. we have a rift between us, or do you think we have no. scheduling problems in real life? Stuff? I think it's a rift. I think we have scheduling problems in real life stuff. <laughs> So, Tabs, do you feel like the love between us is just as strong as it ever was? Oh, yeah. I'd Thanks. love you forever. Tabby. I'm go to the end of Tabby, the for you, Jules. Tabby, who do, would, do you blame Jules for this podcast not working? She'd be under to say that. Oh, my God. Are you for real? It was, were, <laughs> first of all, like, I, if I. Did you, do you know that she. Okay, Hold first on, of all, did you know that Jules blamed you for the numbering scheme? You know your episodes go three, four, five, not one, two, three. And I asked Jules, and she says, I don't deal with that. Tabby does. So, no. yeah, you okay, did. First of all, wow. yeah, you did. So, wow. so what? They said, I'm going to pass the book again and blame Karthik because he's the one that posted it on SoundCloud instead of, I guess, hosting on the server oh, instead. Oh, it, it was Karthik. It was I do. So. Oh, so now there's a third par- person involved. Uh, not anymore. He got mad at me because. Oh wait, did I'm you say his name was Karthik? Karthik. Oh, I think Karthik is banned from the server. <laughs> yeah, he. Totally well, he doesn't like me, so. If Tabby was gonna be a superhero, she would be like Wonder Woman, but she would be encased in that like Plutonium. What did What did Karthik do to you guys? Why did you guys um get get Karthik out of your life? Karthik. I love Karthik. But he, just like, but he did not know how to number the shows, is what you're saying. He was on our first podcast. He was amazing. He was so good. The the, the show that is agree? not that's not posted. Yeah, yeah we do you agree with that, Tabby? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's probably still on SoundCloud. How is it that you guys had him on the show? He's amazing, but you didn't post it to iTunes. I don't get that. We weren't doing. We never did it as like an ambitious thing. We we're just doing it for fun. Like we were never doing it. Like oh, we're gonna try to do a podcast. Like, Tabby and I were just like, oh, let's just do this because we want to do it. Like, it's. Yeah, because it's fun. Yeah. And it gave me about. an excuse to have a cheese plate every day or yeah, every week. Exactly. You know, it was just a fun thing for friends to do. Like, it wasn't like, oh. All know. right, let's. I'd like you to know that we really appreciate the little snail in the in the logo with the, with the microphone. That was <laughs> uh, very. That nice was tan drawn. That is that all, really that is all Tabby. <laughs> what kind of cheeses do you have on that plate right there? Oh, um, on that one. Oh, I will have to pull up the. Um... I think Let we can remember it. that one. Was Did you use chalk to, to draw it? Yeah, it looks yeah, like chalkboard. I bought, I have a specific cheese mayonnaise? board. Why not use mayonnaise? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> that would have been a good idea, right? I mean, <laughs> um, mayonnaise. Well, it would have no, stained it my ch- it would have stained my board. Tabby, <laughs> while you, while you look up the picture, I'm curious though. Why did you guys stop recording? Like seriously, what happened March 14th? It, well, it wasn't March 14th. <laughs> it was a problem. There, Oh, so that show was posted I much left, later. Well, I left the family circle and... Why did you leave the family circle? Are you fighting with Cleric Dragoon at all? No, I'm not fighting with anybody. Okay. I just thought that it it became too much work and was distracting from work that needed to be done at Slugs. And then we were going to take a week off and then come back and start up again. And then I got in a bad car accident. And so. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Trying to. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but we just that was like a bunch of stuff happened. How, how, what, how did the car accident happen? What, what happened there? 
Uh, I got T-boned by somebody that was going like 60. Oh, jeez. I hate that. That's that's like the worst thing ever. That was a terrible accident. I was like so scared that day when I saw the picture. Did it T-bone you on the driver's side? Were you driving? I was driving. My brother was in the passenger seat. They T-boned us on the passenger side, like oh, right so... in the pillar of the doors. Like So your brother, fully... your brother got it worse. Yeah. Is he okay? But we, we though, right? Yeah, no, everybody was okay. Everybody walked away. They're like the worst that happened to him was he said that the airbag knocked the hat off of his head and he was kind of pissed about that. But, but everybody else was but everybody's fine. But so uh, in this J- J- Jules, did you at least call her brother and wish him well? No, I don't think he really wants to talk to me anymore. Oh wow. I, wow. I I passed along well, well wishes. I I actually you know what I really love Is this the is this the guy that she had a crush on? That brother? I had a I was really in love with Tabby's brother. Yeah. So you were in love with him, he gets in a in a serious car accident, but you don't call. No, th- we broke we, it was not a big I don't want to talk about this. I I really like Tabby's brother. He's a really wonderful person and I always Does he play Clash? Yeah, he's yeah. he does play class. He's an Edmonton Bull. Yeah, he's a great Really? Player. What's his name? Edmonton What's Bull? his player name? Don't tell don't tell them. No, serious. <laughs> no, I'm not going that far. <laughs> no, we want we all want to friend him. I, That's all. I can no. figure that out, by the way. No, so they don't need to. All right. Everybody in the chat go uh talk to your Edmonton Cole friends. <laughs> I no, but really like Tabby, your brother is like a really wonderful person. Like I I'm I in Edmonton have the utmost respect for him. Rubio, you're in Edmonton Cold right now? Yeah, I'm a co leader there. All right. Um <laughs> go send out use one of the clan emails, clan mails. Ooh. What am I supposed who's to ask? The bro- who's the brother? Tabby's in brother's in the Edmonton Cold. <laughs> Can you give so me a hint? Yeah, he's a guy. No, yeah, <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. Oh. The only girl we have there is Roxy. No, 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 it's a guy. Just say, hey, just he was in an accident Rubio recently. Might be, it might be the brother. Rubio, were you in a car accident recently? Were you T-boned? <laughs> no. Oh, you're supposed to say yes, damn it. Okay, never mind. Tabby, thank you for coming over here. Well, wait a minute. This Tabby. this is not your this is not your podcast. Wait, hold on a second. I want to verify. Was it this? I'm server muting Jules she's because like, she's trying to about... she's trying to yeah. dismiss Tabby here. We're not done yet. Yeah, that's a nice picture. About this? Okay, so we've right. got herb rubbed salami. Herb rubbed mm, sounds good. Uh huh. And then we've got the cheese that's the closest is. Uh, in the little, um, the darker cheese is Thomasville Tome. And then the back cheese, the one on the back is uh, Green Hill. And both of those are from uh, Sweetgrass Dairy in Thomasville, Georgia. And they are very good. You should try to find them. They are at Whole Foods. Uh, the, the market Whole Foods, yeah. I think they're also at Fresh Market. What other what other podcasts are you on? Um, I guest host occasionally on All Sports Discussion ACC, talking ACC football, basketball, and other sports. All and... Sports Discussion ACC? Mm-hmm. Is that a popular and... podcast? Um, I don't think so. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. But my friends run it, and I'm happy to come on and whenever they have if somebody's like out of town or can't host it it's been going on for like several years is that considered the most popular podcast you're on right now um probably all right do you know do they have like 100 listeners 50 20 i honestly don't know what their listener base is because i don't have access to their numbers Okay. Do you, uh, do you ever have like any uh, any sports uh, athletes come on the podcast? Oh, oh we have your what? brother. I think we have your brother, Rubio. I I don't know what all of his account names are, and I don't recognize that one, so <laughs> I don't know. We we have oh, a really? we have a very wide network here. Bye forever. I really hope it's not <laughs> what I think it is. I don't know. Does your brother run? So. Huh? Does your brother run? Yes. Does my brother run? Run like is he a runner? 
I mean, he likes to run. Does he jog? Does he run? No. <laughs> a hobby is a sport. Oh, okay. All right, then it's not the same person. All right, cool. He wouldn't be running. So have you have you, have you interviewed any any interesting people? Um. Well, I've interviewed. I've assisted in an interview of a couple of sports journalists. Um and. Uh, sports journalists. Like the people that speak to the, the athletes? He's starting out. Yes. Got it. Never never an athlete? You can't really get like any athletes or anything like that? Have you tried? It's tough. I'm, I am not the main host of the podcast, so... How, how did you get... How no. did you, where does your knowledge of sports come from? Like, were you hardcore, hardcore sports kid growing up? What was the sports you played? Uh, I played softball, basketball, I ran track and cross country growing up. Rubio uh, is trying to confirm with you if your brother is... Uh... Oh, he doesn't know for sure. Okay. All right, that's that's fair, Rubio. Rubio has a guess, but he's not sure. Okay. All right, Tabby. Well... I just want to thank you for coming on. It was uh, it was a surprise to find out. Jules, you're unmuted. It was a surprise to find out that uh, Jules had a podcast. It was well, also a surprise that uh, she had a co-host and that she had uh, five shows on iTunes. We were all surprised. Jules uh, <laughs> hangs out and chat with us all day, and never once has she brought this up, and I'm very shocked. Well, whatever. I mean, I'm surprised, break, Jules. Man. You should you should definitely come in on Mondays or Wednesdays when he. Uh, yeah, we talk we talk here in Discord. I super for this actually. Like Tab is a fucking bomb, man. She's way more interesting than I am, and I know Oche will back it up immediately. What? So, why, yeah. Jules? What? What's going on? <laughs> Oche's a fucking pain in my fucking ass. You, Oche knew my why other Twitter, you? which is interesting. When whenever Jules talks about Oche. You can hear the change in her vocal cords. How much she doesn't like you, Oche. Tabby, yeah, Tabby, Tabby has I'm has she ever mentioned me to you in game chat and stuff like that? Tabby, be honest. Uh, I don't think so. You don't think but so? I can't. I can't yeah, be certain because I I, I drink a lot. Tabby, be honest. I, Is that a key word for dog? Tabby, I gotta tell you the backstory. So. Jules hasn't been in this Discord very long, maybe, I don't know, a month or so. No, and... I've been in this Discord for over two fucking years, you idiot. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> in the last few months, I should say, she she has gotten to know Oche. And when uh, when she first started talking to Oche, they were they were super talkative, and you could tell there was a friendship there. There was, uh, there was something that they had... They had in they had common interests, and then little by little, Jules slowly started to hate Oche, and now to the point where they can't stand even being in the same voice with each other. Like, listen how Jules gets. I, I, I don't mind having her in the same voice. It's not. It, this doesn't come from my end. Mm. Mm-hmm. This, this at all. What like, do yeah. What do you know of Jules? What can you explain? What see Ruby is saying that it's sexual tension. That's what I th- think it is. Yeah, Tabs, like, Phil, Phil, like, what, what is Jules in Tabs' opinion? Like, I'd love to hear. Like, what? Is she full of sexual tension? Mm-mm. Is that Jules' I problem? She's just fun. She's what? I don't, I don't know. I think she's just fun. Like, does she ever, does she ever, does she ever share, uh, like, her problems with you? Like, do you guys ever get real in voice? Oh, God. We're not I that kind of girlfriends. We're not. I that haven't kind of been girl. on voice in oh, okay. quite a long time, and I, I'm not sure you understand. You guys the... have you guys have a professional relationship. I think I understand. No. Yeah. Just... No, we're friends. We drink a lot and we talk a lot of shit, but we don't. Talk also, about... I'm cussing all over your podcast, and I didn't even ask for permission. So. Oh, that, yeah, it's fine. Fine. Okay. Jules cusses all the time. Never asked. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the I'm first just kidding. time you didn't even tell me we were recording, 
And if I had known, I would have let OJ talk more because he was so frustrated. Oh my god. I am not a bad driver, first of all. Second of all, what? not at fault for that car accident. And I will fight whoever's giving you, you bad information. Did you run a red light? Or, or oh, he's, he's yeah, responding no. to Rubio. I did not run a red light. Did you guys get to company, see but... the guy who hit you, or, or did he see you? Like, wait, which way? Well, first of all, I have insurance, so nobody sued anybody. <laughs> what do you mean? You have to. And sue liability for hasn't been finalized as of yet. She works for a car insurance company. So. Rubio, see if you can pull up the accident report um, uh, for Tabby. <laughs> hockey, hockey, go ahead. As somebody the, uh, who actually the... investigates auto liability claims, I will tell you that an accident report isn't going to give you enough information because the police actually weren't there to witness it, so you can't go off of oh. anything that's actually on get there and pull up rock, the report. Dude. Get off her nuts. Tabby right is like, smart. You should have her on more often, dude. Should, Damn, like, Rig. She just came at you hard right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, hockey cop is on it. Uh, we have we have a police a police okay. listener with us right now. Yeah, we have the oh, oh, everyone be quiet. Everyone I'm up. just telling you what the insurance company is going to tell you. The police officer was not there to witness it. We're we're, also, <laughs> we're, we're, we're totally wait, wait. we're totally messing with you, Tabby. Tabby, you're, you're like going you're going crazy, but we're we're, we're messing with you. If but what if, what if the passenger is the one that's saying that you're a bad driver? Well, the passenger's an idiot, so... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love you, Tabby. Uh-oh. I think you've triggered, you've triggered our... Uh, ho- hockey cop, can you unmute for a sec? I need, to ask you a, I need to ask you a police question if you are not tackling the bad guys right now. On the... <laughs> if you are not tackling bad guys while this... Yo, yo. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, hockey, hockey cop. Ho- All right, I'm gonna mute Jules again. All right, Ho- <laughs> hockey. How hard is it to pull up an accident uh, from the past? Uh, well, it depends. If it's LAPD's, I mean, it's possible. But uh, out of state or out of like department, it's like you gotta go through the department. Mm, okay, so there's no way we can get surveillance cameras uh, off the street lights to see the accident happen live their insurance company could damn i wonder, I wonder. Did, you, did you request surveillance since you, cameras you work for insurance since you work for insurance companies did you request a, a surveillance of that i would i'd want to know how i got hit there aren't cameras at that intersection okay so we're gonna have to go to the nearby liquor store is what you're saying there's not a liquor store in that city. Lucky for you, we have a uh, liquor store owner here with us in voice. We could ask a professional right now. Kimchi Love. Kimchi Love, can you unmute your mic, sir? <laughs> there's no liquor store in that city. Thank you. Okay. There's not. Oh, there's not. Uh, Kimchi is a uh, store. He, he owns his own liquor store, and uh, he can tell us about the protocols of the security cameras and how they are used to uh, fight crime. But, uh, oh no! I mean, like, we'll request. No. Yeah, All right, hey Kimchi, uh, we need your professional help here. So, so if there if there was an accident on the street that happened right in front of your liquor store, um, do you, by law, are you required to hand over those tapes to law enforcement or to anybody so that they can prove a case? Honestly, I'm not sure if it's by law, but um, I do have a. Uh, definitely, cops do come by to ask for. Surveillance cameras. Oh sure. A- what is this voice that you're doing right now? No, that that's kimchi. <laughs> that's kimchi. He's he's no, he's, he's doing he's, well, he's well, overdoing it right now. Yeah, no, that's that's kimchi's voice. Uh, he's from Jersey. He's a Korean Jersey guy. Yes, sir. All right, kimchi. Thank you for your professional opinion. Uh, we want to make sure we have uh, every angle covered here. Thank you, sir. So I'm gonna have to make a call too. So uh, did the guy get arrested at all, Tabby? The guy that hit you? Because that's I mean that's like a serious hit. Nobody got arrested. No. Would... You don't typically get arrested in my city for traffic accidents. Oh well, you know sometimes they're driving without a license. So your city doesn't have a, a liquor store. You don't get arrested for for causing accidents. What, what, do you live like in Afghanistan? Yeah. A, DU, a DUI would be an arrestable offense. 
It's it's a yeah, it's a valid question. Driving under the influence. Oh, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out if there was anything <laughs> illegal happening. We do have with us a professional criminal, Fonzie. Would you like to unmute your mic? We we can get a we can get a professional criminal criminal's uh, advice on this. Fonzie, go ahead and unmute, sir. Uh, f- by the way, for those that don't know, Fonzie, Fonzie did ten years in prison for assault and battery. Oh my God. Fonzie. Uh, Fonzie, what would be what would be the protocol if you were a criminal and you T-bone somebody on an intersection? Uh, what would happen? All right, Fonzie right now is running from hockey cup on the streets of LA. I feel like He's I feel busy. like it would be I feel like it would be dependent on what kind of criminal you are and whether or not they're on to you. When when that crash happened, who got out of the car first to cuss the other one out? Yeah. Uh, Anybody else? Were you? Sp- I missed what angry? About. Oh, Fonzie, there he is. Fonzie, uh, you are a hardened criminal. Did ten years time. If you hit somebody in a T-bone accident, uh, would you stay there for insurance or would you take off? If I hit them, yeah. First, you gotta assess the situation. Okay. Is there any police around? Is there any people who you think might follow you? According to you Tabby, kind of there was no you? police. You don't get in trouble. There's no liquor yeah, stores. Well, I mean, the police oh, were called. Who? They weren't there at the time of the oh. accident. Oh, then you take off then. If you're at fault, why would you stay there? So you would take off? Yeah. All right. What if your car is not drivable? You just oh, leave on no foot. You, you hoof no, it. No you hoof no, it, right? You would not. You would not wander into the woods. Nope, because if you leave and then they catch you later, it's even worse. Got and it. And, and they are gonna and they are gonna catch you because it's your fucking car. All right. What if you report you know your car stolen? stolen? Yeah. What if it was stolen? Uh, you can do that. You know. Uh, I don't know. I uh, if I'm caught, I'm caught. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I I, I don't try to. Uh, I don't know. Like. Like, when they call me for the robberies, you know what I'm saying? Like, I tell them, oh, you fat motherfuckers, partner. You caught me, but you couldn't catch my partner, you know? Oh, like, okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, Fonzie. Go ahead and mute back up. That is uh, right. that is Fonzie, our professional criminal clasher. Did his time. And friend of the show. All right. Sounds like he's falling down a flight of stairs, so I'm going to have to server mute him. <laughs> um, okay. Tabby. Uh I think we got all our points covered. You know, um it was a bad accident. It wasn't your fault. I'm glad your brother is safe. Um I do encourage you to continue with uh, your podcast goals as as am I. I am not a professional either, but uh I do have a fun show to do every week. And uh I, I truly uh, admonish you to continue to work out your your problems with Jules so that you guys can get back to it. <laughs> ep- so that we have an episode six of Silicast. I agree with this, and uh, we will support this podcast. We will all be there for you. For episode Why is there no episode one? Is the real question. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to get to that all night. Uh, it's on, no, it's no. on SoundCloud. I could probably go back and find the link. No, uh, it's probably uh, not great though. I if you guys are having problem with. Uh, with your math skills we do have rubio he is in college rubio uh go ahead and unmute rubio what did you find what did you find out about this accident you said that uh tabby is at fault are you joking or is this really an allegation well i mean the word on the street is the word on the street is tabby is a wild driver and can't be trusted behind the wheel. Okay. Funny because their insurance company sent me a letter saying that they accepted eighty percent of fault for the accident. <laughs> wow. Funny, Which makes them maturity in that. Like... <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the, the opinion that I got was not just from this one instance. From, uh, Hockey cups is still t- oh, still twenty percent wrong. Oh, please, please tell me about my driving history. I'd love to hear that. So I have to get back to my source on that. All right, Hockey Cop, uh, go ahead and uh, pull up that information for us. We'll have it in the show notes, uh, her driving record. Thank you. Have Hockey. there been other accidents aside from this one that you've uh, been involved in? in the city yeah, without, is this is a regular uh, occurrence. No, there have been no other accidents in right. the city without the liquor. All right, serious question. Do you have more accidents than podcast episodes? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, okay, sorry. All right. 
but just kidding. Okay. Um, all right. Well, thank thank you, Tabby. I'm sorry for wasting your time tonight, but it, it was fun having you. Oh on. no, this was this was a highlight of my day. So. <laughs> highlight right. of your day. That is a great. Uh, well, I needed laughs, so thank you. That was a great compliment. All right, Did Tabby. You have a bad day? Did something happen today that we want to talk about? No. Oh, it seemed like a yes, but okay. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, it's not. It's not. Really, that sounded like a yes to me. Did it not sound like a yes to you, Rig? Um, I don't want to dig on this one. We'll let it go. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, Tabby. <laughs> Tabby, thank you. You're welcome to stay here in this Discord server. Uh, we basically just uh, fool around and talk crap all day. You're welcome to stay. And uh, Sounds like my kind of place. Yep. And uh, check out the channels. There's Clash of Clans, Fortnite, and basically nonsense goes on all day. All right. Porn channels. And lots of jewel posts. Jules will be your friend here. If you're if you've if you've been missing Jules, just stay here in uh, Savage. Okay. Got it. All right. Thank you, Tabby. Thank you for uh, coming on. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. That was Tabby. Jules, co-host. I was really excited for that. I didn't know that Jules had a co-host, and then what do you know? We have Ron. Jules, why do you hate me right now? You're unmuted, by the way. We're equal hosts, you idiot. <laughs> idiot. We're not. <laughs> you're all this aggression. So there is you. so I'm much. So there's so I'm much so aggression much in you. Building up. Building up for twenty minutes. It's like, oh, I can't talk. All I right. Can't express myself. Oh. All right, hold on a second. Uh, I got to server mute you real quick. Uh, Deuce X Machina, go ahead and uh, mute your mic, sir. Machina, bro. Machina. Machina. I would say Machina. Deuce X. <laughs> Deuce, <laughs> unmute real quick. I have a question for Deuce. Uh, Deuce, are you there? He probably fell asleep at the at Discord. All right, poor guy. All right, I just wanted to find out uh, more information about uh, about Jules' uh, condition. Jules, you're very unstable right now. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I've unmuted you, by the way. Dude, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, Jules, I'll, I'll look as as a as a fellow podcaster. You know that audio is important. I have to control the flow of audio. No, honestly, I, I can't I have. I can't have it's people cool. talking over each other, so I just I'm, I'm very yeah, concerned yeah, with the with the final with the final product. Uh, that's all. Yeah, it's that's not nothing so personal. Great. Um, super. Yeah. No. Um, but actually, I don't mind that much because I actually love Tabby, and Tabby is like literally one of my favorite human beings on the planet, and that's why we did our what little. Did you say that about GWK? Oh yeah, also him. I love Kush. Tabby, Kush, and Wu. Probably. Where is JWK? Where is that guy? Somebody tag He's him. Working. He's working. Tabby and Kush. Kush was in our clan for a little while. Like we just, no one ever knew it. <laughs> he had his little, you know. Did you hire him? Did I what? Was he for, was he one of your attackers? Oh, no. she had ringers or what? What are you talking about? I feel like, I feel no. like that was ringing. This is the dumbest thing I ever freaking heard. Anyway, so yeah, like Tabs and I are in the same clan and we just get along and that's cool. I just, I, I just, it was never supposed to be the show topic, but now <laughs> I'm so concerned about your mental health. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're angry or sad or frustrated. You're. You, you know, every time Oche talks, you get hostile. You start typing things in the oh, chat. Please, that's a pain in my ass, though. I'm kind look, of like look, look what, look what you put. Sorry, look what you put in the chat. Don't give Oche the satisfaction. O yeah. f u. I hate you. Wait, did I write that? Yeah. Extreme aggression. Yeah. It very. These aren't even microaggressions. These are macroaggressions. What's going on, Jules? What's going on? I don't know. OJ's really annoying, but also I've been drinking, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. I'm really annoying. You're pretty annoying. Let's talk about that. Let's Why do we have to talk 
I don't think that's an interesting topic. Let's figure out why I'm annoying to you. Dude, you try to be annoying. Like, why do we have to talk? This this is like a mom and dad fight, but I'm curious. Why why don't okay? Why don't you like Oche in your own words? I do like Oche. Okay, all right. Let's stop right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna break this down. You you like Oche, but then you say things like "Don't give Oche the satisfaction," meaning I I hold on. Meaning I want to deprive Oche of a happy life. Is what that means. No, that's not what that means. But okay. Interesting. So go ahead. Um, Let's work with this. All right. So my interpretation of Oche Mm -hmm. is basically that he likes to dissect human beings. Like he's a smart person. Okay. He has a lot of insight uh, in a sociological and psychological fashion. Like he, he really has like real life experience and probably some innate ability to sort of break people down. And are you upset with him because he dissected you? I'm not upset with him. But he I did. Recognize fact, I recognize the fact that he's good at that. So he caught you off guard. You met your match, as they say. No, and you really come to a lot of conclusions. You let your guard down. Oche came in like Hannibal Lecter. He figured you out. And now you're afraid of him. That is not an accurate assessment. All right. Where was I wrong? Um, he doesn't have any special privilege when it comes to like being having access to like my psyche. Like I'm very open with who I am. But you will not um, let him in your mind. No, I I can't control that. He is. Uh, so he has friend. been in your mind. I don't know. Have you asked him? That's sort of a weird question. <laughs> No, like he seems to get like particular pleasure from. Why are we talking about this? Can we talk about no. <laughs> this is like the dumbest thing ever. All right, hold on. All right, you had your turn to talk. I got to server mute you now. Uh, Oche. <laughs> so, what do you think of? It? Do you do you feel? Do you feel that uh, you you had a, some sort of conversation with her where she opened up to you, and now she is angry because she showed her her weaker side and and now she's upset like it kind of brought her defenses down is that what happened i think there are uh, a little bit to that but uh i think that's just jewels in general uh-huh. um, i think the alcohol talks more than more than she would like to admit the al- the alcohol is a problem <laughs> the, the alcohol yes the alcohol <laughs> okay interesting but but at the same time, the alcohol allows it to come out, like let the poison out. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, I, I have no problems with Jules. I don't either. I she's an interesting person. I think she's great. Um, I all I, all the only thing that was is that the hostility uh, that has been going on between you and Oche, it's affecting other fans of the show and other people that are here in this chat. They they have been saying like, Hey, what's going on with Jules and Oche? And I think that's why it, it came up is because now it's affecting the happiness of other people like Rubio. Rubio's very unhappy lately. I agree with that. Yeah. You can, you can, unmute her. We, can we can have a, we can have a conversation. It's fine. Rubio. Get through this together. Is this like mom and dad fighting all over again? Yeah. It's breaking my heart apart guys. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry you had to experience that as a young man. I had to quit my job, kind of quit school. Yeah. Been sad for a week. Jeez. You, you should unmute her. We should hash this out together. We should figure this out. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure that you had your chance to talk, and, and that's all. No, I, all right. I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable. All right. Go, Jules, go ahead. You're unmuted right now. Dude, I'm capable of, like, being quiet. <laughs> Believe it or not. I don't we'll choose. It. We'll choose not. But let's continue. So how how is your day been, Jules? Well, it was great until I got all this bullshit. Like, <laughs> you got you got to talk to your friend. We got to reconnect with your friend that you haven't spoken to. Well, that was months. really fun hanging out with Tabby. Actually, I love Tabby. Right? She's, she's amazing. <laughs> she's the she's the best. Right? She is kind of the best. She's actually, the best. I love her. Tabby, you're the best. We just want to reiterate that one more time. You're the best. Yeah, that's 
if you want to say Tabby's better than me, I'm cool with that. She is. We yeah. don't we don't know Tabby that that close yet. We haven't really explored. <laughs> cool. You can just jump to that conclusion. She's the fucking bomb. She's amazing. You're saying take your word for it. Is what you're saying? Yeah, take my word for it. She's amazing. I love her. Are you are you in? Are you happy right now, Jules? No, because OJ's being a dick, and you keep having. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jules. <laughs> On an all-new Buy Forever, Jules opens up about her feelings about Oche. <laughs> Will she reveal all with the wine that she has? Or is she drawing slugs all over the walls at her home? Also, O'Shea said he told me about the Mike Primus conversation with him earlier today. Thanks, O'Shea, you motherfucker. What was that? What was that? You told Rig I didn't like his podcast. You asshole. Wait, so you're, you're saying that that's true? You told Rig that that's what I said. You just said that I opened up about a private conversation that you and I had, which in that private conversation, you stated that you don't like the podcast. So are I, you saying that that's a true thing? Because it's you... not what I said. That's oh. an interpretation you took. I feel that I maybe that. now, now that I know more about Jules, maybe she was comparing my show to hers. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I did not share anything uh, with Rig. Uh, I don't in, in that sense, like that specific. Rig, you lied uh, to me. An- another thing is that uh, you are the master at gossiping. You you already know that. You what? already know that. Jules, do you have a problem with gossip? I don't like gossip. <laughs> no one would ever say that about me. <clears throat> I don't know where that comes from, but like literally, there's not one person you can find in the Flash universe that would say that. How's fa- how's family life right now, Jules? Family life? I don't have a fucking family, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? How does that make you feel? Terrible. As I'm at the, I'm at my end. The end of baby years, you mean? Now I might just like go down to the marsh and just like shove my face in the bog. I'm really serious with that. What do I have left to live for? Jules, calm down. Okay. It's it's cold outside. Don't go to the marsh. Okay. Yeah, that would be uncomfortable. What are you drinking tonight, Jules? Hard cider. We're getting all this out of you out of hard cider. <laughs> go get yeah, the go get the tequila. <laughs> uh, Jules, first of all, let me tell you something. I want to say that um, I am your friend, and I know that you are my friend. And it's okay to not like my podcast. It's totally okay. Oh my god! I just want you to know that I do not base my friendship hey. on. There's there's lots of people. From my old uh, Clash of Clans clan that uh, they no longer listen or support me, but they tell me that uh, that we're still cool. They like me. I like them. Rick, are you really doing this right now? So I no. I just want you to know that if you ever want to say anything about how bad my show was from the week before, you can post it in Savage. I will. Rick. I will read it. I will accept it as uh, constructive criticism from a friend. And um, I will. I am not. I'm actually. I am actually allowing you to express yourself in an open, honest way to me, so yeah. that you don't have to go through Oche. To lo- all right. I love that you're doing this right now. So listen, like, I I feel like I need to say this because you're being such a pain in my fucking butt right now. All right, hold on. And, oh, are you gonna play some music? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> spilled my cup of water. <laughs> I just spilled my cup of water all over my desk. <laughs> it's karma, Jules. Karma right did you did you do this to me? How dare you? Yeah, I did. I totally did. All right, what were you gonna say? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, before I start, no, never mind. This is the 
least annoying OJ has been in like 24 hours. So I'm like super thankful for that. But Rig, as I said to you, Why do you have to mention me. What, what the, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> fucking hate you all right so rig when i first started following you yeah i thought your podcast was so great it was like pre cwl drama you are so good at this and the reason i come and listen to you is because i just love listening to you talk so you know what i don't care what you do Everyone's like giving you crap about your format and like, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of crap about your format, but you know what? Uh, yeah. I could listen to you all day long. So that's it for me. Oh, that's you know, Oche gave me crap about uh, my format today too. And I listened, I took it to heart because that's all I can do. That's, that's the only way I'll know if I should make changes. If, if something should, if something should change is I want people to be honest with me. Yeah. I, I appreciate honesty. I, I I think it's one of the worst things to do as a fr- uh, as a friend is to go and tell other people how you feel about something rather than the person that you're you should be talking to. Wow. And did I tell you, did I tell you how I feel today? You you did. Like, you did. And we're good. And I appreciate I that. So. I mean, you know well, I love well, you. I, hmm, I really what, admire you, Rig. I what did she tell you, Rig? What did she tell you in, in her 700 messages to you? <laughs> it wasn't 700, you douche back. And it basically <laughs> started out with, oh <laughs> my god, Joel, Oche <laughs> told me you hate my show. Thanks, Oche, you motherfucker. Listen, you, <clears throat> let me, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm uh, getting a little uh, emotional here. <clears throat> but I, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like you're... Uh, your relationship with Rig is growing. Is that is that not you something you should thank me for? I like him a whole lot better than I like you. <laughs> and that's thanks to me, so I I will accept that. No, I don't think it's thanks to you. I think it's thanks to his good personality. But oh, okay. if you want to believe that, go ahead. We'll thanks to Rigoletto's that. good personality. <laughs> Rig, do you agree that you have a good personality? I think he does. Uh. <laughs> Wow. Really? I, 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 I feel like some uh, barriers were torn down tonight <laughs> and that's that's what we do here now on the Bye Forever show season 4 episode 1 is we get to the root of the problems we dig deep for those truffles like, like pigs the pig hormone or whatever it's called we dig down and we, we, fi- we find out what we're really made out of. We stare at ourselves in the mirror and we, we ask ourselves every morning as we, as we take our morning poo, what, what kind of friend am I? Am I being the best kind of friend? And that's it. Thank you. That's what we do. <clears throat> All right, that was a nice hard hour. Wow, hard hour. <laughs> exactly what Jules needs right hour? now. Is that a hard hour? <laughs> exactly what Jules needs. It's a long hard hour. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the hard hour, Jules. Oche, what the fuck, Oche? All right, uh, Jules, I need to server mute you real quick so I can thank my sponsors. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. I do want to say uh, we are moving forward with the podcast. I got a new sponsor. The commercial will be up uh, for Monday's show. But uh, if you want to check them out now, they're called Shirt Punch. I think it's at shirtpunch.com. I don't have a promo code yet. But uh, if you guys are interested in getting some T-shirts, then go ahead and uh, uh, check out Shirt Punch. I'm going to go check out their website tonight, and then we'll have a nice commercial ready for Monday. So I'm excited about that. Oche, maybe uh, maybe we can get some free shirts like the way, the way we did uh, with the uh, the food last I time. I would wear those shirts. I would rock them. Yeah. So I mean, uh, if you actually, if you want to tell your uh, suppliers or whatever sponsors, we can uh, you can send them to me and then I can give them to Rubio and we can get a few clutch people. Uh, yeah. 
wearing those shirts. So uh, I have to read all the fine print, but they're advertising that you can get like a, a $10 printed shirt from them, which is really good if you can provide them with the image. I would do that in a in a heartbeat. A $10 you can shirt. Wear those to the gym. Yeah. Imagine imagine a uh, we can a, we a, a slug cast shirt. shirt. Imagine that. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking about. We, can put we the have giant giant snails on, on our back. With wine and cheese, a drunk, a drunk snail. You can put whatever you want. You can put, uh, you can put your clan logo, clan banner, uh, your Fortnite skin. Do whatever the hell you want. What do I care? Ten bucks. That's not bad. T-shirts they come and go. But when you have one that has uh, a your favorite logo, you always wear it more than the others. So we can put. Um... What's the what's the crazy lady that pooped over the counter? Uh, her. Poop lady. Yeah, we can have a poop lady logo for Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons logo with the poop. <laughs> can we free try not first? Uh, he was only kicked. No, I kicked oh. I kicked him for. Uh, so here's the problem: is when some of us here have Discord open at work, and when you're when Trina is posting toilet pictures. And I have the director of communication standing right next to me as we're conducting business. And then Trinette posts somebody's deuce in the toilet bowl. Uh, eh, it's not going to fly. So he got kicked. It was soft. I called it a, a soft ban for a soft stool. So he, he will be back. If somebody sends him an invite link, uh, he can return. I, I thought... Um... Savage Space was NSFW, though. Uh, yeah, but I keep it open at work, so. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> that on you, then? Um, well, I don't want to see the poop. Uh, that, that's why it was not a hard ban. I, I did not feel that it was uh that was worthy of a of a of a perma ban, like if somebody got doxxed. Fair enough. Oh, thank God. So. Trinette, I was not banned for that. you are welcome back, sir. Please uh, refrain from your toilet pictures. And uh, also, we do have somebody with a health condition right now, so we want to also recognize uh, Hergoth as uh, slowly dying of diarrhea right now. So if, if you are friends with Herg, please tag him and say best wishes. And uh, I know he's at Macaroni Grill right now. Hopefully everything turns out all right later. Okay. Uh Oche, uh do you have any other uh concerns or shout outs? I think you got them all it's fine. All right. All right. Don't forget Herg. Uh I'm so worried about that guy. These got everybody on these keto diets, man, they're slowly This actually this actually happened to my friend. He was on the keto diet and I had to take him to the hospital cuz he could not poop. Yeah. And uh that was probably one of the best uh car rides to the hospital I've ever had in my life. Why? It was hilarious. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Why? <laughs> one of the funniest car rides ever. <laughs> he was in constant pain. He was in super pain because he couldn't poop. And then when we got to the, he hospital, shat all over the hospital. How? No, we got to the hospital and he didn't know how to approach the the lady. And he started beating around the bush. He's like, "So listen, um, I," uh, and I'm like, "He can't poop. He can't take a shit. We need we need to fix this, you know." And I started, and she started laughing. I started laughing. I mean, it was pretty funny. It was a very good experience. So hopefully one day me and her can take that experience together too. I think it has something to do with having like low minerals and low salt in your diet. I was kind of looking it up after her started talking about it. I was worried about her. But... Rachel's on. You can ask her. She would know. Yeah. Uh, oh, Rachel is here. Rachel? Rachel, you missed the whole show, but I, I hope you have a chance to listen back later. I think it has to do with uh, not having enough fiber. Yeah, well, I thought it was like salts and minerals, but who knows? I mean, you're you're drastically changing your diet, so it's gonna do stuff to you, to your stomach. The best part is when they shove a tube up his butt in order to squirt some. Uh, oh shoot! You know, yeah, that em- enema thing. Uh. Yeah, because you know it becomes like it's not that you you just can't let it out; it's there. It's just he wasn't able to release it because it had had it hardened. <laughs> Look who just posted an update. Her Hergoth. Miraculously, just posted a food pic 
rip my butthole. He doesn't even know that we're talking about him. And just like that, Hergos shows up. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> That's macaroni grill? That looks pretty good for macaroni grill. I really don't like macaroni grill. Uh, like you're... And that was a very bad experience. Yeah. Well, you're a foodie. Macaroni grill doesn't quite meet your foodie qualifications, I would say. Uh, I mean, the macaroni grill, you know? Yeah, I, I know. It's, it's, it's like, like Applebee's. You would it would be yeah. like a cheesecake factory or something like that, right? Yeah. Because it's a franchise. Well, I, I really believe we should uh, we should do uh, like a food uh, topic at one point here. Cause, uh, you know, Let's try it for next Wednesday. Food. Yeah, we'll talk about food. We could do that. Oh, shoot, I forgot Jules is server muted. All right, let's go ahead and unmute here, and then we'll end this show here. Jules, thanks for coming on. You were an un- unexpected guest, you and Tabby, but uh, it was great. Good stuff. Yeah, we really appreciate it, Tabby. Actually, uh, it was it was uh, good to have a new. Uh, we uh, fun here. we built some bridges and we burned some, but at the end of the day, I love Tabby. I fully. Oh my Tabby god! Every time she's way cooler than I. As OJ would probably attest to. And yeah, thanks. All right. For letting I they... attest to that when I don't know the person? Of course you would, because you'd love to do anything. All right. Sorry, uh, Jules, I have to cut you off here. We are out of time. <laughs> we, are, we are out of time on Mixler. I apologize. But um, I want to thank everybody for showing up on a Wednesday night, our, our uh, second uh, t- time slot here uh, over at Buy Forever Discord. And on iTunes. So thanks, everybody. We will see you guys next week. Bye forever.